subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest updates. Not too much has changed in the presentation of Tropical Depression Ambo today, this evening. It's currently at 8.9 degrees north, 129.3 degrees east, which it's moved, which means that it's moved slightly towards the north in the last few hours, still to the east of Mindanao. Wind speeds expected 30 miles per hour, that's 50 kilometers per hour. Pressure of 1,004 millibars moving north northwest at 5 miles per hour. Down to a CDPS stage 4 because we're not expecting quite as strong a storm as what we were first forecasting, but it is still a possibility. The CDPS still takes a look at a landfall on Catanduanes on May 15th, probably early in the day, stage 4. Um, still extensive damage possible and what has increased in that projection is the expected rainfall amount so we could be looking at more of a flooding issue but the winds will still be there. Here it is right now then 30 miles per hour as said 9pm Philippine time this May 11th that's its location 288 miles from Davao, 338 from Tacloban, 382 from Cebu, 528 from Naga and 689 from Manila. Still no warnings in effect yet from Pagasa, um, that will probably occur maybe in the next 24 hours, we'll see. Interestingly, Pagasa has the estimate higher than any of the other agencies right now, JTWC still rather low, ASCAT not being particularly supportive, we're winning with 30 miles per hour winds as you can see there which is sort of in the middle of them all, and here's our latest forecast track cone showing that we're expecting a Category 2 to strike the eastern coast of Luzon, but there are a few caveats to this. Some models, like the ECMWF, take it much further south. That would mean a weaker storm, but obviously more areas impacted. But if it goes further north, like the GFS is saying, in fact it's calling almost for a complete recurve now. That would mean, though, a much stronger storm, probably pushing Category 4. We'll talk about that in a moment. So let's take a look at the total precipitable water. You can see the. this is the best idea to show you the momentum of the system and its influence. So you can see all of the orange and red areas smashing through the Philippines there. That's going to be, bring in a lot of moisture and rainfall. You can also see on the left hand side of your image a significant cyclone in the North Indian Ocean that the, the, the GFS is also um, developing for a landfall by the looks of things in Myanmar. But there you can see what would be an eventual typhoon making landfall or getting very close to a landfall in the Philippines in the next three or four days. Sea surface temperatures in the area are very warm indeed. These are in Fahrenheit, so in the uh, lower to mid 80s, that's around 29 or 30 degrees Celsius, which is definitely warm enough for a big system to develop. Um, so big in size this system will not be as you can see here smashing through Catanduan is there as a category 1 or maybe 2 according to your GFS model but what you can see there is it's got a pretty small wind field as far as typhoons go it's a rather small system if it does develop that means two things one it could intensify much more quickly because it's small but also the wind field will be smaller so the areas the actual areas affected would be less than if we had a weaker storm that was larger Wind shear though is going to remain very low over the next four to five days, so this storm's really not going to have a problem intensifying when it comes down to it. Sea surface temperature is very warm, relative humidity looking decent. Uh, it's still, the models aren't suggesting that intensification will begin straight away. We think it's going to be in around 24 hours, but the system is still showing some good signs in the latest imagery. Not much to look at there on the infrared, but there is uh, quite a lot of um, blowing up of convection. Uh, but you can see there on the water vapor imagery as well a little bit of dry air towards the northwest But a massive bit of convection that's been blowing up over the center of this system in the last few hours, which certainly I would say um, Warrants that tropical depression status, but the JTWC and the JMA still yet to pull the trigger on that And we could see a tropical storm on this in the next 24 hours Check out our new look cyclone tracker on the Force 13 website for the latest up-to-date information. You can also find us, of course, on our YouTube channel, search Force 13, and also on Facebook and Twitter, Force 13 at Force 13 on Twitter for the latest updates. You can also help the project become even better by becoming an ultimate fan on YouTube. 
To see the full list of Ultimate Fan benefits and to join, visit youtube.com forward slash force13 slash join. With a special thanks to our top supporters this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force 13's colours wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.